boy, do we have quite the number of chatters. Oh, this is delightful. Welcome, everybody. We are just setting up those last minute items. We are looking to start right on time in approximately three minutes and 30 seconds. That's right. We got down to a science here, folks. Oh my goodness. Welcome to all of you out there. So many of you all saying hello. It's gravy. We, we, you are definitely in for a treat today. Oh my goodness. So I hope that you all stick around. We've got a lot of stuff to show, a lot of things to talk about. I will see you in a few.
I think our community person eight deserves a round of applause for that fan made video. That's right. That was a fan made video from our own eight. What a fantastic little piece and a great transition over to our playable Everspace 2 Alpha, which will be going live for all of you guys on the 15th right around the corner oh my goodness i dressed up for this how is everybody doing oh it feels good it feels so good completely dope ah oh, look at all these guys out here just like screaming oh i'm screaming internally this is exciting this is super hype oh my gosh this is great um so with the with the transition of, of talking about the prototype and saying so long to it, just remember anybody who did receive that prototype, you do actually have it permanently. You will always have that slice of what our vision looked like way back during Gamescom. Oh my gosh, and my how things have changed. We're gonna be walking through the actual alpha that you will be receiving on the 15th today, live very soon in a moment. I also wanted to highlight a couple other community persons just because they're freaking awesome and their gallery work. So let's have a let's have a quick look at some of those pictures because um, they're awesome and it's fun, right? So first we're going to um, we're going to talk about Aquitas. Uh, this guy has been showing off some uh, really cool screenshots, um, all of which have been from the alpha as well. So let's look at some of his photos. First, we've got this, this guy in the background. Uh, just some duking it out with laser beams galore. Oh my gosh. Look, look at these shots. He's got tons of shots in our Discord, okay? I'm talking like it's an it's absurd number. Um, a lot of people have been dropping a lot of shots. Here's another one from him uh, right here. We've got more laser beams duking it out. Nice photos. Using that photo mode to the best it can possibly be taken with and more features coming to that photo mode. Oh my gosh, I am so excited <laughs> for what you all bring to the table. This is nuts. And remember, these are just the prototype build. These are just the prototype build. We got this one over here, nice use of that field of view, uh, or excuse me, uh, depth of field, words. Oh my gosh, all of these are Equitas. Then we also have uh, Jay Chris, who also plopped a couple in. Um, we have to... We have, to, we have to make sure that we don't accidentally uh, view something that you're not supposed to see just yet. Oh, oh, there's already secrets in the stream. I know. We got this one from Jay Chris. Uh, there's a missile to your face. Oh, my gosh. Again, all these are from the prototype. I am so looking forward to what's around the corner. Literally around the corner of the weekend. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Then we also have this one from Jay Chris as well. Getting that, those engines. Oh. So clean. Mmm. It's wonderful. And finally, the last one that I have from the recent uh, recent gallery, we have the Bright King, who's got this lovely little crop. Looks looks nice. Looks great. Given our uh, given up some some planet vibes and where we're gonna be going and dropping down. Is he wearing a suit? Yes. <laughs> Don't you when you go to work? Hey, all right. Freaking, oh, it's it's solid. Geekbite says from the waist up, you caught me, okay? All right, let's look. Let's keep things professional here. And from the waist up, it totally is. All right, let's go ahead and um, I also wanted, I, I, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to, oh my gosh, there's so many things. Um, we have to go 
all the way over to the gallery um, just to highlight this slightly. I mean, come on. There is so much here. Oh, oh, sneaking around a little bit. There's so much stuff in this gallery. I'm just going to do like a quick scroll and show some stuff. Here's another one from the Bright King, for example. Oh my gosh. Friggin' awesome. Uh, we've got like tons more from Equitas. Um, J. Chris in here some more. Uh, Hazy showing a picture from the original prototype of Everspace One. Oh my gosh, nuts. Um, here's some shots from Everspace One, also from Equitas, I believe. Yeah. Like, check this one out. Freaking sick. Like, there's so much stuff in here. If you are not a member of our Discord community, you have no excuses. You need to get in here. You need to, like, use all the emojis and hype these images because we love them. And I'm sure that you will as well. Just looking through it all. Oh my gosh, we got some of Eight's photos here. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. I love the stuff you guys produce. It's just freaking awesome. All right. Calm down my hype. Here we go. So just kind of still floating through just so many. That's a nice like camera on your phone. Oh, it's so many good things. Anyway, you guys didn't come here to browse through a gallery all day. I understand that. So let's go ahead and transition to the main event. Let's get this alpha underway. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. So let's get going. So the very first thing we've got is this display screen, which you'll all see on the 15th. Basically, it gives you all the different locations to go to, all the things to do, uh, things to see. Want to point out one particular point of interest, and that is that the feedback forum goes to Steam. Now we do have our own personal forums. We are consolidating the approach for getting your feedback well received and organized properly. So the main location you will be going to provide your feedback is the Steam forums. We'll be redirecting folks who come to our personal forums and even on the Discord if you're like trying to send massive messages in there, which, you know, nothing wrong with that, but in order to consolidate, in order to like maximize all of that organizational structuring, go to those Steam forums. All right, acknowledged. Oh, all right. Guys, we're starting from the top. We are starting from the tutorial that you guys saw a very long time ago. And by long time, I mean like, what was it? Two, three months? I can't remember. It's been completely changed. This is gonna be quite the journey. Mm. And we're gonna be cruising through the basics of the beginning and I'll be doing a few of the missions and then casually exploring showing off some sights and sounds but I don't want to show too much because again this is the same build that you will have access to once you hit um, the 15th so so lots of lots of goods I'm also gonna make sure that my sounds are correct yeah this is gonna be fine uh, one point one more point so many points all the points pointing everywhere you're going to hear automated voice work for the characters. This is because we just haven't had the lines delivered by our voiceover artists yet, okay? So, work in progress. Gonna put a lot of emphasis on that. Here we go. extraction area. All miners stay in formation. Wingman, you take up the rear. Understood. Here we go. Scrap. What's wrong? Boosts are jammed. Could need a push. Hey Ben, we've got another lame back here. Got it. Let's meet by the poor guy. Any idea what it is? Just a laggy jump drive. There you go. Good as my granny's old creaky knee. Thanks. Ben. I'm starting to run out of nanobots. Say, how's your ship holding up? Just the usual wear and tear. Don't tell me you want to run another mobility check. Can't risk you breaking down in the middle of a fight, can I? Well, all right. Knock yourself out. First show me two nice healthy strafts. Left and right. There. And there. What about your hover thrusts? 
Man, I can so hear you smile. Isn't it nice to have someone who cares for a change? Now some rolls. One. Two. Oh, Finally good. I need one last straff. With a boost to the right. As Slinky Rock right. dodges go, <laughs> I'm giving you a four out of nine. Yeah, you're in good enough shape. For the junk pile you're floating. Try telling that to Callahan. I bet 10 creds that if we don't catch up, he'll threaten to remove this shift from our tally. Nah, he's a jerk but not that bad. 10 creds against it. Ten creds. Let's not keep him waiting then. Alright. Say, you already picked a home world? Not yet. Don't know much outside of the DMZ. Once you get your pass, you will need to tell them something. How about Eden 12? Ridiculous name, but I heard they terraformed themselves some decent mountain lakes. Man, I can almost smell the fresh air. Well, Max. if it isn't that two slackers, you really want me to remove this shift from your tally. Ten What's credits. the situation? There's a Hydra infestation clogging up the entrance, and since you are the one who gets paid for these things, I thought I'd be so kind to let you earn your points. I'm on it. Ooh. Mmm! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the tutorial. Getting all of our controls figured out. It's time to go into this mine. Let's see what happens when we blast these creatures out of the way. Oh, delicious! Mm. Entrance still clogged. Well, you tell me. Perfect. Ben, you run last checks, then follow me. The others wait oh. here until I give the signal. You're leaving us unguarded? You know this is standard protocol. Just look after yourselves for a while. I'm going in. Yeah, so somebody just mentioned, this is so much more than prototype already. We've just opened the front door of the tutorial, sir. Hold on tight. Woo! Woo! Looks like the last shift never left. Woo! 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 Gonna squeak by him. That's fine. Um, what's with all the dead miners? Apparently, they had a run in without laws, which ended bad for both sides. I'd say it happened less than 48 hours ago. How can you tell? Because the Hydra had time to spread but haven't devoured them yet. So there could be survivors. Maybe, but who knows what side they're on. So be careful. Ooh. Man, so many Vardom Crystal Shards, some clothing. Alright, nice. One thing to mention is that I am playing with a mouse and keyboard as of right now. We also will have the uh, controller support. Controller, you can use that. And also HOTAS implementation. So pick your poison and how you want to dive in. Again, I am using a mouse and keyboard for reference. Woo! This place is shiny. Excellent. The entrance to the core is blown. Let's hope my missiles will do the trick. I'm stealing nonsense now. I'm borrowing goods that they're never gonna use again. Huh? A rogue drone? Wonderful. So I'm trying to keep as Allowed quiet as possible. Survivor. We'll see. So I don't interrupt any of the dialogue, because I know that you're interested in hearing what the characters have to say. Hope that all audio levels are well for you guys. I am about to give you uh, the first look of a new enemy type that you haven't seen just yet. And a hint at some upcoming mini games that we are going to be doing in the game as well. For example, we are hacking this terminal. Tell Callahan to hold position until I had a look inside. Man, please watch yourself in there. Alright. This doesn't look ominous. This looks... this looks fine. This looks great. Back off. 
Scrap. I'm not letting some Brady and Brunt flee whack me before my rescue squad arrives. Here we go. This is an outlaw Ravager. They're a little bit larger, and if you can see, there are shining spots on their exterior, which indicate armored plating. And if we focus fire on that armored plating, it breaks off. Excellent, pal. But there are no rescue squads out here. Everyone, the risk meter just went way up. We should call off this operation. Not happening. Didn't I ask you to stay out? Yeah, and to look after ourselves, which is exactly what we are doing. If there are outlaws involved, we need to get this thing over with and speed things up. Let's get to work, people. We got quite as to fill. He's not wrong. I don't like it. That guy was some kind of outlaw big shot. He even had a custom made coil gun. Try to look on the bright side. There is one? Yeah, it's your custom made coil gun now. Right. All right, so we're gonna equip the coil gun. You've seen the inventory screen plenty of times, but it's just a simple matter of taking that coil gun, which uh, is a rare one, has 10% of kinetic damage bypassing the shield. Nice, we'll take it. And cycling it is as simple as moving the mouse I don't wheel. want any crystals to end up in the wrong pockets. So the miners are doing their jobs. Hey, what's with the shaking? I don't know. Scrap. Could be the rescue squad. I never called for one. No, but the guy I just fought did. And since his pals probably already spotted our patrol outside, they won't just come in with medics. Son of a lizard. All right, I want everyone to stay calm and clear of the walls. I got this. Time to earn my points. Chief? You here? Hey, what did you do to our commander? Keep moving everyone. I'll lock onto them and let my missiles do the rest. So as you can see, we're not exactly in the nicest of territories. Only one left. And people don't like us being here. That's it. Everyone alright? We're okay. Pal, take my last nanobots. You'll need them. My senses indicate there are more waiting in the main shaft. Let's take the fast lane and bust through that drill. Let's repair up the ship a little bit. You can actually see the... Dents and scratches are going away. Beautiful. Break the locks on this bad boy. You go first. And let's see that where we go. Better be doing their job out there. Everyone in the stream, welcome to Iris Space Two. All right, you're slaughtering the escort. God damn it. Try to slip past. I'll keep him busy. Whew. So a nice little firefight to get the blood pumping. This is also a great location to start testing your skills and abilities. More. Because we are incredibly overpowered right now. Don't know if anyone caught it. We're actually level 10. And we carried over a more powerful ship with us in this sequence. Scrap, my engine's overheating. I can't jump. You'll fix it. See ya at base. Hey, you can't just leave me here. Sorry, Ben. They're just trying to get out while they can. How long till you can jump again? Engine's too hot. First it needs to cool down. I'll buy you some time. We really wanted to make sure that as you're diving into this experience, whether you are a veteran of Everspace 1 or a complete newcomer, that you have a chance to kind of play around with navigating a, a battle situation without actually being in too much peril. <laughs> and that's what this sequence is providing you. That option to get accustomed and acclimated with the controls. 
And it's also kind of fun when you feel overpowered and you just destroy everything. <laughs> Kinda, with a bit of luck. Oh, scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. What's happening? The gen's burning. And now it's moving all the way up to the cockpit. Use the extinguisher. You got this. Ooh. I got this. I got this. Doesn't sound like Ben's doing so great over there, though. You have to keep buying him a little bit more time. Hopefully he will get a chance to fly out of here. We don't want him to go down. He's our friend. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, uh. Ben? I'm burning for some sake. Hold on tight. I'm on my way. All right, so we're heading over to Ben, and guess what, guys? We also have one more thing to show you through all of the alpha. It's not just in-game cutscenes and whatnot. Ben, I'm coming. We have a little bit more. Not also, I want to almost there. Point out the name <laughs> on that particular ship. Ben, are you okay? What the hell was that? All systems are down. All right, here we go. Damn it! You're wasting your energy. This place is sealed tight, blocked by a force field. Just sit tight and make the best of it. Looks like they threw you quite a welcome party. I've been here for quite a while already. Just a regular checkup on what I might know. Where did they grab you? Your outfit looks like G&B work crew. You guessed it. The guys here <laughs> got no style. Bunch of amateurs. They'll be looking to get the best price for you. So given your professional opinion, you know a lot about outlaws. Hell. I know a lot more than they'll ever get from me. You hear me? Newcomer. Where's my friend? He's in the med bay, for now. Maybe he'll live long enough to fetch a good price. Your DNA scan will show that you are a military clone pilot. I thought they were all gone after the war. I wonder what your face value is. What if I broadcast your profile? That would be a bad idea. You may not like who will come looking for me. Why would I heed advice from a clone? I know my business. Uh-oh. Interesting. Station is under attack! And the turrets! Friends of yours? Yeah. Kind you want me dead. Power outage. The force field is down. This is our chance. Let's try to pry the door open. Help me, grab the door. Oh! Let's get the hell out of here while they're distracted. Good call. This way to the hangar. Wait! I'm not leaving without my friend. Don't be an idiot. He's a dead man. Okay, get your friend, but hurry. Don't worry, Grendel. We're coming for you. Hey! Uh, what's happening? It's our chance to get out of here. Come on! Uh, forget it, man. I'm done for. No way. I'm getting you home. We're here. Let's go. I might have more luck with a clone pilot at my side. Okay, I know some of you are thinking we get to fly an outlaw ship. Remember, still work in progress stuff. Okay. Just just keep that in mind. Watch out. You may call this a warning shot. Mm. Pilots are advised to disengage at once. What are the colonial fleet doing here? We better stick together if we want to make it out of this alive. Get ready to jump. No dice. Drives are jabbed. There's a jump suppressor down there. Mm. 
jump suppressor? That sounds familiar. Alright, boys. We back in this. Except now we're level one. I hope you know how to handle a cannon. The this true game my begins. First dance, you know. Right. The clone thing. Shooting things is in your genes. Alright. So, who thought they were getting a huge lore drop? <laughs> So we're going to do what we do normally, fly in close, disable the jump suppressor. It's Excellent. down. Jumping is still suppressed. My sensors detect two more. Let's keep out of view and find them. Just stay clear of that cruiser. Mm. Good call. We really don't want to go over to that cruiser. Good thing that they're fighting all those high-level outlaws. Careful with the shaking. Oh, Sorry, pal. Sorry. This is bound to get bumpy. Beautiful. Oh, hey, what's that? What's that firing? What? What is that? Oh, actually, that's... I think that's, um... Where's our buddy? Is our buddy flying with us somewhere? Where's he at? I know he's around. Oh, he's all the way back here. He's flying with us. He's a little behind us. There he is. He's kind of backing us up in this situation. He's our first companion! In the game, we've talked a little bit about companions, but Dax is going to help us out because he's trying to escape too, of course. My nice shooting text. You can't destroy a suppressor. Fly close and hack. That's the way to go. Oh, I'm I'm glad that he informed us of that. Perfect. Two down. So much. I don't get um, it. Um. The fleet has no jurisdiction here. They must have some kind of understanding with the other authorities. With a cruiser that size? No scrap. This is our last warning. Scans have been initiated on all units. Hand over the clone. We will find him either way. It's you they're after. I told the gas mask not to broadcast my profile. Let's finish this and get the hell out. So, the Colonials are after the clone. That's us. Okay. Story's all kind of making sense. We've identified you, Mr. Roslin. I'd suggest you submit your sentinel without struggle. Hold on tight, then. We're about to jump. Oh, man. Here we go. So I think this is a really good time to take a quick pause break. Just a quick one. Because I know everyone's asking so many questions through all of this, not only in your mind, but also in the stream. And I do want to point out, we do have AMA in the in the title. We are absolutely going to be answering a lot of questions that you have while I'm playing through this. We do have a couple individuals from the team who are in the chat as well who are going to be assisting me in that. I want to say hello to everybody over on Twitch, over on Mixer, over on YouTube. We're watching all of you. So please continue to ask your questions. If I miss it, don't worry. We will try and get to that if we happen to miss it for a while. Still no fear. Feel free to ask it again after some time. And even if after the entire stream we still haven't gotten to your question, that's a great time to join our community and ask us there as well because we do want to make sure that anything and everything that you've got running through your mind is explained to the fullest that we can give you at this time. All right, let's dive right back in. You okay, buddy? Woo! Damn, he passed out. They're tracking us. You need to disconnect your nav. Now, I disconnect can't fly the nav? Do it. Okay, all scans are dead. Now what? I'll give you some offline ports. One second. There. See that sweet shiny marker? That's our way out. I've seen clones fight before, but man, not your first dance. You're a goddamn prima ballerina. What's your name, pal? Adam. And that's been in the back. He's doing quite bad. Let's get him into stasis in my old hideout. He really needs a medic. You won't <laughs> find one out here. Not with a fleet warrant on our heads. Scrap, we were so close to getting out. Plans are for fools, my friend. I'm Dax, by the way. Looks like we'll be stuck with each other for a while. Wonderful. So we are flying through this space after having escaped, but we did have to disconnect our navs, so we are no longer connected to the Eterna system, which means the Colonials can no longer track us. Those of you who might be familiar with the Eterna system, those lore junkies out there within the Everspace universe, that's basically the big network that's kind of like valuable source of information. It's like the internet, 
it's a little bit of a stretch, but that's basically what we disconnected ourselves from. So nobody can find us and we also don't know where to go to any place. So Dax is great in this regard because he knows that he used to work at a base over at Rhodia 2, which is where we are conveniently heading off to now. Mm. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned it. Oh my gosh. Shoes on. Shoes on. Shoes on is manning a giveaway for Alpha Keys of Everspace 2. All right. So there are Alpha Keys that will be given away through the course of this stream. That is pretty freaking exciting, okay? So if you are watching, you're casually hanging out being a champion among men, you know, per usual, um, then yeah, definitely join the Discord. We are just gonna flash over to uh, this site really quick so that everybody knows uh, where they can go into that Discord. It's over on the left side. You go into there. All you have to do is wait just a little bit of time and you will be able to go into these giveaways. There will be several over the course of the stream itself. So definitely, definitely, definitely take part in that. Join our community, hang out, let's have a good time. Also note, if you create duplicate accounts, we do have moderation team watching you and you will be kicked. So be kind, be smart, be respectful. It's always greatly appreciated. All right, let's get back into the game. Head to the home base. Let's hope that the old rust pile still stands. Awesome. So I know that you guys are very familiar with this area. Things have been modified a little bit here and there. There's no longer a base, for example. Um, there's still some crystals, which I'm going to harvest, even though we're supposed to be getting to the home base, because why not? Maybe those will come in useful. Mm, that music. Adam, Dax and the severely wounded Ben arrive on an abandoned military outpost which was once Dax's hideout. Dax guides Adam through the base to the bridge. There, they realize that there is a problem with the main reactor which needs to be repaired. Dax explains that they can place the wounded Ben in a cryopod for the meantime. While carrying Ben to the medical bay, they discuss what needs to be done with the base. The cryopod will hold Ben until they can find power and medical supplies to cure him. Adam insists on knowing more about Dax's background and long-term plans. Fair. Dax, however, asks Adam to be more patient and trusting and promises that more information will come. Adam, although suspicious, realizes he has few people he can count on. All right, so that cutscene is obviously not completed yet, but you get the gist. A lot of stuff needs fixing, but we're still good on resources to patch up our ships or refill our ammo should things go south. There's also some space in the storage unit, so feel free to dump your cargo whenever it's getting cramped in that Sentinel. What about the generator? Here's the list of what we will need to fix it. Scrap metal, a cooling unit. Think that's pretty straightforward. The cooling unit could be a problem. Check out the nearby debris field. That's your best shot at finding one. Excellent. So we have a new companion, and we also have the winner of the first giveaway! Oh my goodness! That's fantastic. Solaris, congratulations, you have won yourself an Alpha Key of Everspace 2. That is legit! So we will have more keys to distribute over the course of the stream, so definitely get into the Discord while you are watching the stream. And it's gonna be a very simple process, really. You just have to hang out in there, and whenever we have the giveaway start, you'll know from the stream itself, or directly from the Discord, too. You just pop in an emoji, and that's it. Super duper easy peasy. Oh my gosh. How do I join the Discord? Discord.gg slash rockfishgames. One more time, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. It's in that lower left corner, discord.gg slash rockfishgames. 
it's a, it's a really fun community too. This is where Grindel has done a lot of community work with the wiki, in fact, um, which is why his name actually appears on that character that you first meet in the game itself, Grindel. He's been a long time wiki, wikier <laughs> for Everspace 1 and he's also moving into Everspace 2 with us and we really have to honor him as a companion through this process. So yes, that is in fact Grindel that you see there. I also want to point out one other thing. Um, and it, this is a little bit spoilery, a little bit, but his first name is Corbin. That's right, our character's name is Corbin Grindel. So I know you're out there, Corbin. We also wanted to honor you through it. We really value our community a lot, especially the big chatters, those who really contribute. And that could be you. This could be, there could be a character in here that's part of you. That's the beauty of working alongside the development of a game. When you put your heart and soul into it, a sliver of that could then make it into the final product. So pour your hearts out for us and we'll pour our hearts out for you. That's how it works. It's wonderful. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm getting a little, whew, it's great. You guys are freaking fantastic. So we now have a mission to get our base back up and running and we need to collect a couple new items. We're just gonna take a quick look uh, around um, what we have here. One of the things that we haven't seen yet are actually the companions, right? So let's go to, can we, can we go to the, yeah, here we are. Let's go to the companion perks and let's talk about this briefly. Um, I'm not going to read this to you because you can read that yourself, you know, it's fine. All, basically what this comes down to is having bonuses applied when you reach certain levels for yourself. But your companions themselves offer unique advantages the more you fund those specific abilities. For example, the tractor beam will increase the base tractor beam range to 800 meters. This is a straight up passive benefit that you will receive once you complete this task. How do you complete this task, you might ask? It's simple. You acquire 1,440 credits, you get 40 Vardom Crystal Shards, you get 30 Iron, and you get an Anti-Grav Module. Now this is just one example of many different perks from a lot of different characters that we'll be finding along our travels in Everspace 2. And those benefits can be anything from a very basic one to increasing your tractor beam range, to being able to dismantle equipment, to gain new resource options, and crafting, dare I say it. Oh, oh my goodness. So there's a lot more to come in that realm. Um, I'm sure that you all wanted me to press E and go cover this just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Whew, there's so much, so much. So we now have our Rhodia 2 home base acquired. Let's get it up and running. Get back out in space. Get the things we need. Hazy's gonna pass out. Calm down, Hazy, it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, let's also, um, let's also just kind of like answer a couple of questions floating around the chat. Cookie Chip, thanks so much for being excited being here. That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Is the prototype upgrade upgrade itself for a closed alpha? So the, the scraps should be easy enough to spot though. The prototype is an independent game. It's essentially a uh, it's it's I don't like calling it a demo, but it's a demo. We're gonna call it a demo. Okay, so it's a slice of what our vision looked like back in Gamescom last year. So it's it's an older piece of material, but it does not get changed. It is going to be locked into your historical records of when Rockfish Games showed us Everspace 2 at the start. And you'll be able to see all the unique differences and advancements throughout the game through, by using the prototype and then seeing the realized alpha and the alpha will transition into the beta, which will then transition into early access, which will then transition into the full blown 1.0 release out at the end of 2021. So that is how everything's kind of built out, how we're delivering all of those different elements. A good question, glad that it could be clarified. Can we skip pause cutscenes? Yes, you can. 
yeah, that's a. Uh, I feel like that needs to be commonplace in most games. And uh, Rockfish agrees. We all do at Rockfish. So we got your back there. Also, you guys have seen the throwing mechanics. Uh, we don't actually have a pod to throw here. That's unfortunate. But I'm going to show you a couple little secret spots that can boost you up just at the start of the game. This one's nice. A couple of valuables to collect here. We're also going to go right to the right. Yes. Of the home base itself. Maybe some of you spotted this on our approach, but look at this. There's a destroyed turret. And there's this chipped up wall. And when we blow that away... There is a very special surprise inside. You'll see that this is a bulletproof container, so we can't actually shoot this one open. We have to get up close and press F. Look at that. We have found our first device, ladies and gentlemen. So devices are going to be used um, pretty much like devices in Everspace 1 with one really big change, and that's they no longer require energy upon use. These guys can last for you as long as you want them to, or until you find another device that suits your needs a little bit better. So we're gonna dismiss, dismiss this, and we're gonna add it to our ship. You'll notice that we don't have any upgrade tokens yet. We've talked about that in previous streams. Those That's gonna be the way to add modules to your ship. But we're gonna go ahead and add the EMP generator uh, to the ship itself. There we go. And once we level up, we'll be able to start unlocking these different modes, including short circuit, hard reset, and shield surge, to provide a unique advantage for the use of the device itself. Wonderful. All right, let's go collect some goods over here as well. Just cleaning up this area. I'm also gonna, I'm also just gonna straight up tell you, this is kind of a challenge for all of you, okay? So write this down somewhere. There are 10 devices to be found. Can you get them all? Guess we'll find out on Monday. All right, let's collect some more stuff. Now, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to games in this style, and that's because a lot of these resources now have a point to being collected and used, especially with that perk screen we showed you. Uh, there's going to be a lot of value in hanging on to goods, maybe finding the right stations to sell them to as well, Just which will so be developed you know, in a later build. As soon as Ben is back on his feet, we'll be leaving. And where to? You can't escape the DMZ without a pass. We'll figure it out. Right. And in case you shouldn't, you know where to find me. So Adam really wants out of the DMZ. Makes sense. That's canonically accurate with Everspace One. Visitor. Is it the fleet? No, just a lonely outlaw scout. He must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. All right. Leave him to me. Who are you? This is our turf. You know. And now some folks are trying to come ruin our day. There. Alone again. Those fools. If there's one thing that the DMZ does really well, it's making people reckless. Just another reason why I can't stay. I get that. But I bet the guy you just blew up used to say the same thing. Good point. Very good point. Whoop. Oh, nanobots. Excellent. More so raiders. nanobots... Make sure that the airspace is cleared before you head back. Don't want anyone to kiss this base and tell. Nanobots are treated as a consumable now. So whenever you are activating a nanobot, it's from your consumable deck, which is actually right behind me. And um, it's going to also be in conjunction with your injectors for energy. Um, it's going to be in conjunction with your sticky turrets. So you're going to have to figure out if you want to use those nanobots for quick repairs or if you want to find another solution. Now, this is important to distinguish from Everspace 1. As Everspace 1 was a roguelike, so being able to heal as you're going through it was part of that cycle. But now, as an open world RPG, repairing is going to be a little bit more challenging. 
So nanobots, you're gonna see in much smaller packages and they're gonna be far more valuable if you do utilize those in the moments, but they're not gonna be nearly as populated as they were in Everspace One. Instead, you're probably gonna be looking towards stations and specific trade lanes in order to find your repairs to optimize your ship for when you need to dive into that boss battle or that specific mission you're trying to complete. Hmm. Sticky turrets? Question mark? Yeah, we've shown sticky turrets a few times during the streams. Basically, they are little turrets that is gonna be this is gonna be mind blowing. Okay, you fire them off and they stick to asteroids. It's it's a crazy concept, I know. And then they fight for you. Hey, they're like a little buddy. Except instead of being a drone that flies around, it's attached to an asteroid. So you can kind of like create a base defense system on the fly, if you will. So we have another pop-up here, it's talking about damage. I've explained this a billion times on the streams. Um, to cover it really fast, there is shield, armor, and hull. Energy deals the most damage to your shield, and it deals no damage to armor. Kinetic damage deals the most damage to armor, and it doesn't do any damage to shield, and both do damage to the hull. Both of them in conjunction, which means if you had a weapon, like for example our pulse laser here that does 18 kinetic DPS and 50 energy DPS, when we're shooting the hull of a ship, we're doing 68 DPS to the ship itself, okay? So being very straightforward, very clear in that, this no longer operates like it did in Everspace 1. It wasn't just shoot the shields down with your energy and then you shoot the hole down with your, your uh, hole DPS is what it was called. Now it's very specifically been changed. Energy is best against shields, kinetic is best against armor, and either works great against the hole of a ship. There's a lot more flexibility and room for variety of your enemy types, which we may even come across through the course of this stream. All right, so we're gonna collect as much freaking loot as possible because I'm a hoarder. That's really what we're looking for is the cooling unit. Checked off everything Whoops. on the list. So now we need to go take care of those raiders. And we're gonna keep exploring the missions within the alpha. Hey, Nockroach was right. Ooh. We've got new neighbors. Let's give them the tour. Stein. Also. For those who um, haven't seen the action freeze yet, just wanted to show this very briefly. Um, we have um, a lot of different tools that you're able to use. These are going to be perfectly available in the alpha as well, where we have field of view, which you can adjust and take some action-y shots to your liking. Um, we have uh, aperture, which kind of adjusts these components for you a little bit more. We have exposure, which, you know, depending on where you want to put the focus of what's going on. Oh my gosh, I am ruining this photo. <laughs> but you get the point. We wanted to make sure that you had a lot of options to adjust to your liking. This is a terrible image. We're just gonna go <laughs> right back into the game. But you get the point. Didn't you say this place was safe? Something must have happened to the cloaking system. Now bring the parts so we can give the generator a whirl. All right, so we leveled up. Base level features of a level up is that you your stats increase ever so lightly. And you also gain a very invaluable upgrade token, which you can spend on those modes on your devices. And when you do that, you will forever have that unlocked and accessible to you through the rest of the alpha. So let's go ahead and spend ours right now. We have one upgrade token. And what we can do here is we just say, I wanna upgrade this. And we get short circuit. So now whenever we use an EMP generator, the affected targets will take 11 damage per second. Once we use a second and a third upgrade token on this, we'll have access to those further modules in line. It's wonderful. Do a screenshot during a potentially explosive, please. Okay. I'll try to. I'll do my best. All right. Next mission accomplished. We got lights, climate control, and access to some data regarding the CETO system. Could the data help me see again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. If we were to reconnect our navs, the Colonials would immediately hack our asses. 
But with this, open your map. Map openings. The data is quite old, but not entirely useless. There's still reliable information on the locations closest to us. Cedar outskirts, Rhodia, Orbit, and Union Bridge. That's not much. It's enough for now, at least for what you're about to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations and keep an eye out for devices indicated as being bags. They're custom-made signal distractors and should have kept this base off enemy radars. What about Ben? If we get him back on his feet, he could easily repair them. Right now we're lit like a bonfire. If we don't figure out what's wrong with the distractors, there may not be a Ben in the long run. Tend to the bean bags and make us vanish. That will give us time to figure out what to do about your friend. Yes. Yes. So now we have places to go and things to do. We also have some undiscovered sites that we can venture towards, like this one over on a moon. We've got this one over out here in the middle of nowhere. Again, all of these locations are now accessible in the alpha. We can explore all of the Cedo system. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you find and the secrets that you unfold, taking all those valuable screenshots. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a wild, wild run. The numbers that you see on each one of these, maybe you can see in the middle of those squares. That's not a mission marker. It's not saying this is mission one, this is mission two. No, no, no. That's the level of that area when you travel to it. So right now we are level two, which means if we went to Union Bridge, that would be the easiest because it's baseline level one as of right now. The Rhodia Orbit and Cedo Outskirts are both level two. You'll see higher levels and you might even see those previous numbers rising up as well. At least that's the plan through the game. I'm not sure if we have that implemented in the alpha. Pretty sure we don't, but I digress. You get the point, you get the picture. So let's start completing this task of enabling bean bags. Um, we're gonna we're gonna store a bunch of stuff because I don't want hogging up space. And maybe we can use it for something else later. Oh, we don't need this. We're gonna go ahead and organize this by value. Oh, that's nice. That's very pleasant. Beautiful. Oh yeah, so I see a question asked one more time about the prototype being upgraded to the alpha. No, they are separate games. The prototype is a slice of what we were working on at the time, and the alpha is actually what will become the full game. The alpha will transition into the beta, which will transition into the early access, which will transition into that 1.0 launch. All right, let's go to the Rhodia orbit. Mm. While you're at it, we could need some more brown crystals. The last batch wasn't enough to keep the generator running. They're usually all over the place, but most common around the Cedo outskirts. Got it. So we have a little side quest as well to collect Vardom crystal shards, if we can do that. Is the alpha release today? Whoa! The alpha reveal is today, my friend. But the alpha release is coming on Monday. We got just a couple of last minute things to talk about and show uh, before we deliver it right into your hands. So your patience is greatly appreciated just a little bit longer, but I hope that what I'm showing you today and, and our answering of your questions will help nullify any concerns that you have and might also raise that hype meter just a little bit further. All right, so we are Going past a couple secrety areas, in fact, I will mention that I intentionally left a secret at the home base to let you guys try and find it. And we're going to look for this beanbag. We also see there's some outlaw scouts and some GMB fighters. The transport left because he didn't want to get wrecked. Rightly so. But let's see what happens if we take on these outlaws. That wasn't a good explosion. Hang on. We can do better than that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That feels, that feels much better. 
Yes. A nice explosion. Let's see, we can uh, adjust the field of view a little bit here too. Get some aperture going on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So there you go. You're going to be able to have a lot of fun with uh, the various scenes that you uncover. I mean, I, I spent, what, I don't know, like 20 seconds on that, if that. And it's not the best shot in the world, but it's kind of fun. Definitely gets the point across. Oh my gosh. I'm excited for what this will become in the hands of photographers out there. Hmm. All right, let's take out the rest of these outlaws. And then complete this beanbag mission. Ooh, credits. Nice corkscrew death. Mm. And a missile for good measure. Oops, we missed. Just kidding. Looks like more enemies came in. Eh, we're not gonna bother with them. Now what's this? Looks like a really big place to go exploring through. I'm sure there's probably secrets. What's that, an energy socket? I wonder how we could get that open. I have no idea how to do that. So let's go ahead and go complete this mission. There's a lot of wreckage here, by the way. Like, there, a lot, okay? I'm not gonna be able to cover everything in this stream, and I don't want to. Found Frankly, it. I want Looks you to be excited like about exploring. Looks like bumped off half of its antennas. I'll run a hollow scan to simulate the crash. I know some of you are thinking, wow, that looks really Fingers basic. Fingers crossed that the antennas got caught up somewhere. Work in progress. So the idea here is that it shows you uh, where the antennas probably got hit by this asteroid. This asteroid punk, how dare he. So let's go find him. There we go. There's one. If the joints are up for it, you shouldn't need a PhD to reattach them. Let's take it back. I'm so full of silly. You know, I'm kind of just a, a really jovial type of a person. I like being First happy. And I'm really excited to show this to you guys. <laughs> All right. There's the other one. Perfect. It's a good thing they weren't broken. That would have been bad. Good as me. Okay. Now how to activate it? Just fly close and charge the link. Boom. First beam bag is back online. Excellent. But for a proper act, we'll need two more. Alright, so we have one of the three locations completed. Now we have to head over to Cedo Outskirts or Union Bridge. We'll save Union Bridge for last because I know that you guys have seen it already. Uh, so we'll go over to the Cedo Outskirts. But man, look at look at all of the containers. Secret things going on around here. There's another, there's like a base over there. There's a base over there. A, gl a glowy base, in fact. There's another site down here. And it just seems to be a really good time to mention and remind you guys that all of this is handcrafted. These environments are custom made for you to go out and explore. This is not procedurally built. It's not where we just said, hey, computer, uh, make this space have stuff to do. No, no, no. This is very intentionally designed for you to go discover. So naturally, I'm leaving. <laughs> Because I want you to discover it. Hmm. Why are they called bean bags? Because they make our station's map indicator jump around on the map like bean bags in a juggle. It will show up all over the place, but never where we actually are. Keeps the crowd guessing and is safe. Whew. Any ghost ships in the game? Oh man. Maybe we'll have time to show one.
I see you headed to the rim. If you need better tech, there used to be this trader around. Any sign of the bean bag so far? Okay. Don't know. I got this marker jumping around on my display though. Could be Do you it. see the marker? Try to follow it and keep me posted. So we have a marker that's jumping around and we also have another optional quest to go visit a trader nearby. And I think we're gonna go visit that trader first. It's gonna show you a really unique new feature that we haven't talked about yet. And I'm excited to do so, so let's get on it. That seems the thing to do. Backer number 100 in the house. Welcome, Laser Gadgets, to the stream. My goodness. How long is the soundtrack? That's a. That's actually a really good question. That's a really good question. I don't know the answer to that. I know that we're still working on um, sound design in the game, so probably don't even have a solid answer for you yet. I do know that Everspace 1 soundtrack was quite long. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and drop into McClure's Odds and Ends. Oh, would you look at that? Customer or outlaw? Customer, I guess. But can't you be both? Not here at McClure's. I'm running an honest business. I see. Say, laddie, you look like you could very well handle those outlaws. Are you up for some challenges? Hunting outlaws in a more creative way? I will even throw in some reward for you. What do you say? Let me take a look. Challenges are now open. This is something that is going to be somewhat familiar to Everspace One veterans. We had challenges, but they were offered on the fly. You would complete them, you would get a quick reward, and then you would keep going. And whenever you died or started a new run, you got new challenges to complete. These are kind of like that, except they have more meaning and purpose. All right, so let's look at the shop really quick. See, oh my gosh, there's an energized boost. Oh, that's two out of 10 devices. But we can't afford it yet, so we're just gonna hang on to our stuff. In fact, we have very little credits. We could use this mine launcher. No, we can't. We have, we're not level three yet. We can't use this. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this because it sells for 105 credits. We don't need this energy core. 33 more. Large nanobots could be nice and a, okay, we're gonna use them. And we probably wanna save dark matter because you never know what upgrades you're looking for down the line. I like to hoard things, remember. Maybe this has no functionality for me whatsoever, but dang it, I found it. It's mine, no touchy. Let's fly out. So, oh, let's talk about challenges really quick. So here are the challenges right next to the reputation markers. Uh, you guys remember this, hopefully, from the uh, stream that we had last week, maybe even the week before that, uh, where your reputation you can accrue by doing jobs, odds and ends, uh, for the various factions in the game. Right now, you only see three, but don't worry about that too much. We have more factions in the works because it's a work in progress. Who'd have thought? Oh my gosh, amazing. But right next to that, I'm going to press C. You're welcome. And we have these challenges. And the challenges have a basic, and then you'll also see there's a master here. I'm not sure how that gets unlocked. I know how it gets unlocked. So go ahead and go do these completions, and maybe more will follow. These are pretty basic, but still require you to do a specific task in order to earn. So instead of it just being like, oh, you need to take out 10 outlaws, which was Actually, in Everspace 1, I'm not making fun of us, okay? All right, let's cut to the chase. For this, you have to take out five outlaw scouts, specifically using an EMP. You have to kill 10 outlaw drones, specifically with missiles, and you have to kill three outlaw webbers while you are not webbed. So you have very specific challenges in there to complete to gain credits and EXP. I'm sure that more could probably be received from completing these challenges, especially if they're more challenging or tricky to accomplish throughout the game. Oh my gosh. Very, very good. Oh. All right, finally, I'm gonna push C one more time because I know you're all asking for it. 
This is your statistics page. You will have everything tracked here, knowing how long you've been playing the game, to how much you've been boosting, to your the credits number that you've earned uh, from items, jobs, you know, all that type of stuff. Your favorite weapon, the energy damage dealt, kinetic damage dealt, the kills, totals, like it's, it's all here. It's all here. And this is only gonna grow because there's gonna be more content, obviously. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can we can we start adding anything? We could. We have we have a couple items here. We have enough credits. We're gonna go ahead and invest everything into this. So you can kind of see. We've completed this one, so we need Vardom Crystal Shards and Iron. Once we complete those two things, we will be able to dismantle our weapons. It's a fun little thing from the perks. Otherwise, we're gonna head right back out into the fray and find this next beanbag. The signal's bouncing around over here. Yeah, all the way over there, but we're gonna we're gonna look at this station. Cause it seems like it's misplaced. I don't know. Is the distractor hidden in a giant ship wreck surrounded by mines? I do remember a wreck, but it's been a while since we put that thing there. Alright, so another smaller little station that you can explore. Now where are you? Oh, look at this. We have a power core. We can grab that bad boy. And maybe we can even drop it into one of these energy socks. Oh, look at that! We got a damage booster and some Athean crystal shards. Nice! Guess we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for more of these power cores. There's one right here. Let's go ahead and plug this one in as well. What do we got? Ooh, some more nanobots and Vardom crystal shards. Nice! I will gladly accept that. So there's nothing that. inside the wreck. At least no distractor. It's really close though. But where? Alright, so here's where the pinging is coming from. Found it. Excellent. It's infested with hydras. That exp- Hmm. Hydras. Almost has like some underwater vibes to it, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and clear this off. Lane's the weak signal. Shoot them off. Mm. Goopy! Cleared the beam back. All right. Ready to activate. Second one's up. Nice. One more and the show is on. Wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the last location for this beam bag. Woo! All the way over to Union Bridge. Yeah. We haven't really even been flying around too much of the solar system. We're all in this little bitty corner. What's a jungle? Seriously? Man, you obviously never had to endure shift duty. Juggling is giveaway time! Objects and catching them in quick succession. Giveaway in the Discord! Why? To keep idle minds busy. Plus, what is the giveaway for? Well, let's stuff. take a quick pause to tell about you. You are going to be going over to the Discord at discord.gg slash rockfishgames, approaching a giveaway channel where what you can do is simply respond with an emoji. That is literally it, folks. That is literally it. By being a part of our community, you could have a chance to win a copy of the Alpha of Everspace 2. Okay? This is not a prototype. This is the Alpha itself. So if you want a chance in definitely dive on over into the discord right now and stay a while too i promise you we have a lot of fun in there it's a really good time all right you learn a lot here we go right i mean it. just finish up and once you're back i'll show you that little exchange there if you missed it basically dax was explaining to adam what juggling was and adam doesn't know and it's probably because he's a clone but we're not going to hold it against him oh also You'll notice that we do have an unknown signal that populates. These are still very much alive and well in the alpha. I don't believe we are going to have any um, any types of interceptions occurring through the alpha. We're still tweaking and modifying, discovering what that's going to look like for what's best. All right. Here we go. Union Bridge. So something to point out here is that in the prototype, you'll have noticed that there was a very large station here. But here in the alpha build, there's 
There's a little bit of wreckage? Oh, there's a little bit of wreckage. You know, come to think of it, that guy was having an awful big problem with leaks. Hmm. I'm sure he's fine. All right, let's head over and get this last bing bag in operation. What was the Discord address? Discord.gg slash rockfishgames. That's all one word. Discord.gg slash rockfishgames. Looks like its power core fell off. I'll plug it back in. No, keep your distance. Don't go in until you're ready to take some damage. All right, so this beanbag has triggered a little bitty event. What I saw was that a power core had been broken off from it. But it turns out, there's this Weber drone hiding behind this asteroid, huh? Okay. It's almost like they were preparing an ambush for us. We also have our ultimate. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. The front fell off. Oh my All right, so the ultimate, this is a unique ability tied to the ship that you have chosen, the subclass ship that you have chosen. Right now, at the very start of the alpha, we are operating out of a Sentinel. This is a familiar class, I'm sure, to many an Everspace One veteran. Its unique ability is bound to the lightning gun effect of Everspace One. You will be able to use this once it charges up after you've defeated a certain number of enemies, and it deals damage in a very equivalent way of the lightning gun, except it looks way more awesome. <laughs> My opinion. <laughs> We're gonna save it for a bigger enemy later. Let's take out this guy. It's an ambush. You got this. How did you know it was a trap? It's called scavenger baiting. Outlaws do that a lot. Besides, beanbags don't run on power cores. Ah. Thanks for the heads up anyway. One last charge and I'm done. All right, so we're going to charge this beanbag. Doesn't run on energy cores anyway. All beanbags are back online. I can see that. Our base marker is now everywhere but here. How's the crystal hunt coming along? Getting there. As I said, the Cedo outskirts are our best bet on finding some. All right. We're going to grab this power core. I got the power core. Forget that thing. It was just a decoy. Oh. Playing it into space or something. All right. See you later. <laughs> nice. I can't wait for you guys to have as much fun as I've had with just being able to grapple things and throw them around. Like, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things that you didn't know you really wanted until you have it, and then you're just like, I need this in every game now. <laughs> we have a giveaway winner! It is Voxel. Congratulations to Voxel winning the second key giveaway for the Alpha. Congratulations. Hope that you enjoy this when the time is right. Come the 15th. Oh my gosh. How exciting is that? I'm super pumped. Oh goodness. Let's fly back to, uh, let's actually go over to look at this freelancer ship. I'm sure that several of you have noted whenever I was flying around in the previous builds on stream, there were some things that I wasn't uh, allowed to show you just yet. And one of those things was one of the designs of the freelancer ships. Unfortunately, this is not the cool design. Uh, let's see if it's over here. I want to show you all the sweet looking things going on. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, come on. Come on, freelancers. Don't let me down. Here, let's uh let's let's cheat a little bit. Nope, that's not it. Where'd the other one go? There he is. Is this one it? Nope. Ah, unfortunate. We will find a freelancer, I'm sure, and we'll talk about how sick they look, but you'll definitely want to uh, keep your eyes peeled for when you find yourself a freelancer yourself. There's some really cool new styles that have been added to the game. 
All right, so there's some debris over here. There's probably some hidden secrets or something. Maybe, possibly, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go travel around and explore some of the other locations in the Everspace 2 Alpha. So first let's, actually let's go across the way. Let's see what's going on over here. Maybe there's something to be had. Centaur vibes. Oh my gosh. Broken drone! That drone over there looks broken. Could be easy loot. Now you guys have seen this already. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and follow it. Gotcha. A nice hey, little travel through this debris field. Going? If I want that loot, I need to stay on its tail. Now you can see just how much stronger he is like just by level alone. Before I get a chance to we are, do it myself. We are level 2 and he is level 5. And that makes a big difference with his armor. So it does look like we're going to KO him before we get to the end, so we're just going to we're going to let him get to the end cuz it's more explosive and fun. If you follow this guy all the way down here, we get to our secret location. Well, that Mini drones. wasn't so hard. I wonder how it ended up here. What the? Cross another one off. Okay, things have swung in my favor. You, that was something. So we collected a bit there. We leveled up. We got an auto cannon. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Let's compare it to our auto cannon. You can cycle which weapons you're looking at very easily by pressing the alt button. So here in the direct comparison, we'll notice that this new one is a little bit slower with its velocity, but its energy capacity is higher. And it also has 30% increased damage against units with a higher level than your own. That's pretty nice. So we are absolutely gonna utilize this. Something else uh, to show you really quickly is that weapons do have a distinct color on them. So when we fire this weapon, you'll see that it's yellow. When we fire this first weapon, you'll see that it's also yellow. I just got trolled. All right, that's fine. But the point is, is that you can find different colors to your weapons, even if they are the same exact type of weapon. Silly RNG. All right, let's collect some goods. Ooh, a nano injector. That sounds great. This instantly repairs your hole as opposed to your nanobots, which repair over time. We also have a scatter gun, which when we compare it to both weapons, it's quite superior, but it's harder to use because this is your up close and personal shotgun to the face in space. Mm. It's one of my favorite weapons um, just because of how it operates. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. Has a really nice punch. Mm. But you can see it doesn't have very good range either. So you have to utilize it very carefully. All right. So let's see. We need to collect more Vardom Crystal Shards. Let's go find some. So we have this undiscovered site over here, but I kind of want to fly, I kind of want to fly around a little bit. Maybe, maybe we could go to this undiscovered site. Can I see a show of hands? <laughs> no, if you want me to go north to the undiscovered site at the top of the home turf, I want you to press E. And if you want me to go south into this unknown region, I want you to press C. It's that simple. E for north, C for south. And let's see what we come up with. Oh man, I see way more C's than I thought. Oh my gosh. And the demo, you had purple pulse lasers, green, red, yep. Yeah, pulse, Everspace One MX was actually green. See some E's, see some C, okay, good. I like the show of hands from Crisis, thank you. I like that. That was, that was sweaty. Yeah, I, I'm i seeing more C's. I'm seeing more C's. So we are gonna go southbound. 
Oh man, and then YouTube's all up in this with crisis spamming. Hey, hey, leave room for everybody, okay? <laughs> it does look like we are gonna go southbound. The stream is gonna go south. All right, let's go. <laughs> What exactly is South in space? Okay, Talon, this is actually a really good point. Um, I shouldn't actually distinguish it as like cardinal directions. So fun fact, we're gonna go really heavily in the lore for just a moment, okay? So let's talk about the space that is the demilitarized zone. Things that you have seen, things that you have heard about through the experience of Everspace One shows you lore-wise that the Okar, an alien reptilian species that exists out here, who, who was here first before the Colonials showed up, they are out on the western corners of the demilitarized zone, the western side, okay? So you're probably all thinking, oh, okay, well that means west is left, right? Okay, quick correction here. Remember, in space, sometimes it's kind of hard to know what your cardinal directions are. Sometimes they get mixed around a little bit and your maps aren't necessarily drawing, driving what's north because north is a compass direction and that implies that you have a gravitational pull on say like a planet or something, but rather you have a more uh, sought out build for a map that makes it easy for travelers wherever they are going and whatever they are doing. So in fact, a careful eye may have noticed through the lore and through the driving force that is our reveals that the Okar are located over to the right of the map. This was not an error. It was very intentionally done so. I can assure you the lore does line up and you will find those little tidbits and details as you play through the experience, the more we get closer to the full release. But know that we are taking very great care in how we are approaching the lore of Everspace. It's very important to us. It is vital to bring it all together because nobody likes a story that doesn't make any sense. All right, so we have some unknown signals that are popping up. I'm particularly looking for a site. Um, I'm trying to remember which location it's at. <laughs> We're gonna fly over here, maybe we can find one, but we are in GMB terraport, ter territory now. There is no up in space. Gold star, yep. Just, Jeff said it best. All right, so we're gonna fly near this planet, and I'm sure that you all know that we have flown down to this planet before, right? We have flown down to this planet before and showed you a couple locations to go um, it's not in this particular area just yet. This is because missions are important. All right, very, very important. So let's keep flying around and see if we see anything. It's like it's just the cold fastness of space. With a couple of distress calls, let's go for it. So can you tow stuff through cruising? Cruising, no, uh, you cannot. Oh, we got some GMB freighters who need help. Um, you can't use it through super light. I think these guys are just fine, actually. Woo, they wrecked the outlaws themselves. Looks like the coast is clear. Thanks for your help. Hey, thanks for the credits for basically doing nothing. I showed up and smiled and they were like, beautiful smile, here you go. I'll take it. Let's go look at this wreck field. Time for an alt, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Nothing? There's nothing over here. This interesting piece of garbage and there's nothing. Okay, that's fine. Distress calls, by the way. Um, various points that show up at random on the map. Some of those are actually handcrafted, um, but a lot of them are also procedurally generated. So those are gonna be the sites that you see where you kind of get a little bit of random through your travels. Otherwise, all of these very specific locations, all of that is handcrafted. And let me tell you what, there is a lot of them. 
All right. Let's go back to civilization and see if we can find some more crystal to maybe progress the story a little bit. We'll also fly a little bit closer to the star just because maybe we'll see something. Maybe. Handcrafted asteroids. Yeah, pretty much. I was supposed to back the bandits. And we're going to pass that one up. They're pretty close to that sun, though. So you can see every time that you venture into a new region, it adds it to your map so that you know, hey, everything here, that's the deep fields. This was the cold sun orbit, GMB mining fields, the home turf. We got it all ironed out for you so you can kind of keep track of where you're flying through in space. You love the title pop-ups? Thanks. Yeah, we're really happy with how they came along just to give you a general sense of where you're at, even if you don't have a clue. Kind of like if you were just flying through random space and you're not sure what's happening. <laughs> so look at that. We know that we're close to the home turf now. We have an undiscovered site. Let's see what's there. So we've got uh, a scout and some drones. Nothing too crazy. Oh, we should probably be going after our uh, challenges. So let's go ahead and EMP get this guy and take him out. So that's gonna mark off one on our challenges, I think. Yeah, one out of five, taking one out by EMP. We got another drone over here so we can drop them with missiles. Oop, missed. Missed again. Oh, that. That's so much damage. <laughs> I love the scatter gun so much. All right, so we need to take out drones using missiles. I think he's in range. Yeah, that should be good. Oops. And we'll EMP this guy for another EMP kill. Excellent. You'll also see that when we EMP'd, the mines became uh, powerless. So they didn't trigger anymore. We actually were able to grab this mine. We could have run in here, grabbed the mine, and then chucked it at our opponent as well. That could have been kind of cool. I didn't think of it until after the fact. But still, throwing stuff around, it's so much fun. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a wreck, all right. Some credits. Some more large nanobots. That's always great. I'm not gonna complain about that. A container over here. Homing missile launcher. So another set of missiles. This could come in useful. Cycling between secondaries is never too difficult. It's basically as simple as cycling your primaries. And there are an assortment of different secondaries as well, just like there are with your primaries. Am I cheating? I have not cheated once in this build. Believe me, I could because, you know, dev console, but no, I have been playing this everything straight out of the gate. This is the alpha build that you will have access to on the 15th. Like I'm talking everything I'm doing, you can also do. The tutorial, the missions, going to these locations, feeding these sights and sounds, completing challenges, upgrading your devices, there's even more. We just haven't gotten to it yet. There is a lot, and it is all going to be in your capable hands. All right. Um, I think there's one more thing over here. There's supposed to be, I think. I can't remember where it's at. We do have some enemies warping in, so let's take them out. We want to take out these drones. Oh, that music's a nice change. 
See yeah. if we can drop him before he gets his... Did we get it? Did we get it? I'm curious? Oh, we did. So we have one more outlaw scout to kill with EMP. We have quite a few more outlaw drones with missiles and two more Webers. That feels good. All right, let's keep going. Head back to the home base. I think we can actually get nearby it and go to a unique location that has a lot of crystals. Do we get Dove Console? So when I say Dove Console, I'm referring to the tools that the developers need in order to make sure that their game is functioning for you. No, you will not have access to any sort of Dove Consoles. This is a part of traditional uh, game development as a whole. It's for us to jump around, but obviously we want to have you guys diving in to the experience in a unique capacity, and we're gonna record that data, okay? There is data recording through the game. It's no personal data. Um, it's simply what you're doing in the game space itself, and it sends it to us. So that we know what's being enjoyed, what's being searched for, what's not being searched for. Um, a lot of different information like that to help us help you through development. All right, so we want to start seeking out crystals, I think. I would shoot this guy with the EMP, but I'm pretty sure the GMB forces would get pretty ticked off about that. Whoop. So we're gonna save that for later. All right, so this place probably looks a little familiar. Let's go to one of these bases out in the distance. This will be much more easier. Ouch. Okay, so we got that one done. Five outlaws affected by EMPs. Also, we should really start avoiding these missiles, huh? Woo! Oh, that feels good. One-shotting an enemy. Oh, that feels righteous. Ooh, a coil gun. We saw this in the tutorial, but you know, no worries. Oh, we can't even hold it. We need to get this valuable uh, cargo unit in place. Because now we can. Look at this. We got more space. Boom. That's a victory. We'll probably head to the home base shortly after this to see what else we can, uh, we can change on our ship. like anything too crazy exciting at this base. Just a couple of paltry defenses. Maybe there's something secret? I'm actually not sure. I haven't explored this little base yet. <laughs> but it doesn't look like there is. Man, look at this base twisted up in this asteroid though. Oh my gosh, that poor thing. Just looking for some crystal. Just looking for some crystal. You know, the Cedo outskirts had a lot of crystal there. That might be the place to go. The music again? Oh man, you like it? We're pretty happy with how it's all coming together. There's a lot more coming. Okay, so we have another little base here. We have a shield generator. Whoop. And one more. Beautiful. And a couple containers. What do we got? Athium crystal shards. Vardom crystal shards, which we need. That's great. More Vardom crystal shards. Wonderful. And a secure container. Hmm. How would we get in there? There's this energy socket again. I don't know. Guess we'll have to save that for somebody who's smarter than me.
You're looking forward to the thermo guns? Yeah, I like the thermo guns too. I think they're a lot of fun. Energy sphere dispenser. Oh my gosh, what's this? It's like, oh wow, it like gives you an energy thing? That's pretty neat. I wonder what this is for. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go to another location. <laughs> All right, so I want to go back to, um, not the Rhodia orbit. We want to go over here to the Cedo outskirts because there's a lot of minerals there to be had. Um, the waypoint system is very simple. You just double click and boom, you have that nice orange outlook on it. And you can see it even at long range to make a nice, oh, relaxing stroll through space. Oh my gosh, lovely. It's a little warm in here with this uh, with this attire on. <laughs> so here, if you recall, we have these sites. Look, you can actually see the crystals from all the way out here. Let's just take a moment to appreciate these asteroids that were crafted. You know, we got this green glow, and then you have like all these crystals dotted around. You can, I think you can see that. But look at all these crystals in place. Oh my gosh. If that's not ominous with that music, I don't know what is. Woo! That's kind of terrifying. All right, let's go explore it. Craft rolls. <laughs> What do we got? Oh, some more drones. We need to take more out with missiles, so this is perfect. We also have this explosive asteroid. Huh. Well, this seems... This seems nice. Uh, where's the last one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I missed the last one! Oh, that's embarrassing. Wait a second, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that again. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> let's take these guys out first. I am trying to explode an asteroid in space. I do not appreciate you shooting me, sir. Well, maybe we'll just leave that one to the experts as well. Actually, that might actually have Vardom Crystal Shards. We might need to do that. Um, but we also have a lot over here, too. So we should be able to pick up 10 that we need before going right on back. Beautiful. I got the shards and we'll get them to you shortly. Thanks, pal. So let's head back to the home, uh, home base. Drop them off and see what's next in line for the missions. And maybe we will go ahead and use that dev console to jump around some locations so you can see a little bit more of what we're offering within the alpha build without me having to spoil all the missions for you. That music gave you the chills, man. I'm telling you, man. I am really pleased with the work that we've done uh, pertaining to the sound design. It's really come together. There are some seriously creepy moments in the game. I did miss a lot in there. Last giveaway is going down in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So let's drop this bad boy off. Mm. Here's the Verdun. Excellent. Next, I need you to drop by the trading station at Union Bridge. They might have something that could help us fix your friend. Like medical supplies? No, but it will get us there. It's called a Prime Sense STA. Might be a bit costly though. A Prime Sense STA. Got it. Good. And don't forget that for anyone watching, the bean bags are the main act now. That's a cozy little juggling gig. No clown parade, and definitely not a stunt show. After all, there may be a bounty on our heads, so keep your ambitions low. Got it? Laying low is not really my strong suit, <laughs> but I'll try my best. I really mean it. Talk to you soon. 
just so that you guys are aware of, when you are diving into the game and say that you don't really care about the lore right now because there's more being developed, you can skip all of these dialogue options by pressing F, okay? Uh, so basically anything that's telling story bits, you can skip. Uh, I also saw over there in the chat on YouTube, uh, Ghost Rider says, no quips from Hive. Yes, that is true. Hive is, um, uh, well, it's, it's kind of a long story, but uh, maybe we'll have more to talk about with the Hive whenever more of the story reveals itself in future updates. But know that we do miss the Hive. He was a valuable uh, part of our Everspace One experience for sure. You know, establishing that strong Eterna system that we needed to connect to basically anywhere and everywhere. He had all the details for us. But at this part in the game, we, we don't have that connection. So he would actually be useless anyway, which kind of makes Hive sound even less cool, but uh, Rip Hive, uh, he will greatly be missed. All right, let's go ahead and fly on out. We do have the Edge of the Universe mission completed, and we are looking towards the next one to complete, but we're not gonna complete that one. That's actually going into territory that I want you to experience yourselves. We have just, we've just completed like all of the sort of, I don't know what you wanna call it, basic missions to get you going. This one's kind of uh, throws you into the real mix. This one gets you right into the movement of the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a little bit of a break because we're nearing the end of the stream and we have a, a couple more things to talk about and I wanna make sure that your questions are getting answered. So um, we are gonna be doing the giveaway, the last giveaway here in just a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop over the scenes back to this bad boy, you know it well. Discord.gg slash Rockfish Games. For those who you are just arriving, we are doing a giveaway for the alpha build, this closed alpha build of Everspace 2. So if you have not gotten your hands on this because you weren't a Kickstarter backer, you have that chance very soon. All you have to do is be a part of our little community in Discord. And then when the time is ripe, which is like, uh, I don't know how long, five minutes? It's, it's close then you dive in, you click on a button, literally, and you are plugged in for a chance to win it. Oh my gosh, it's seriously that simple. You have no excuses, okay? So um, one thing I also did want to show you, uh, and I'm sorry, Casper, um, I wanted to show a little, uh, a little area in the alpha that you can actually, you can get to this. You can actually get to this location. Um, I need to open this in a better window. So hang on a second. While I prepare this for showing, I think you'll I think you'll enjoy this. Here we go. So we'll swing over here. Six minutes until the giveaway. Okay. So oh, we're also lagging. Oh my gosh. One second. One second. Forgot to do a thing. Need to do a thing. Cross music, so many sounds, it's okay. Everything is fine, everything is okay. Okay, much better. All right, so let's go Let's go back over here. I wanna show you, this is actually a, a recording from our developers themselves uh, doing some navigating around just to show you a little bit more of where you can go and what you're gonna be able to see uh, in this area of the alpha. So here we go. Didn't everyone, anyone ever tell you not to cross the beams? <laughs> Come on. That's better. Okay, that's good. No, ah, it, you did it again. Okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, it, it would have been really sad if like we got crushed by a door or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful when you're traveling through the environments. You never know what's around the corner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, so obviously we haven't even gotten to this mission yet. It says spares and people escape the area. There's a very elaborate uh, area here that has to be navigated through. There's a lot of content in this upcoming alpha, ladies and gentlemen. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so just wanted to show you that just to you know have a little bit of fun. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break 
and then we're going to end the stream with a little bit more content for anybody who missed the update to the um, the Kickstarter. Uh, there is an update there that gives a little bit more instruction as to what's going to be happening after this stream, and I want to make sure that everybody is well informed. So again, if you want to get into the Discord for a possible chance to win an Alpha Key, now is the time to do so! It will be glorious, I assure you. Jump on over, discord.gg slash rockfishgames. We will have that giveaway starting very, very soon. I do see a really good question. We'll go ahead and answer this. Overland Gamer asks, so in the alpha, what are the steps to report bug bugs that folks might find? Great, great question, and I'm really glad you asked. So we are trying to consolidate as much as possible that will go to the Steam forums of Everspace 2, okay? So we will still be accepting feedback, you know, that trickles in the Discord, over on Reddit, also shows up on our own personal forums, but we are directing all the traffic flow to the Steam forums for consolidation so that your voice is in fact heard. It's a lot harder to track multiple voices on a lot of different channels. This is why we are navigating it to this degree now. So the Steam forums of Everspace 2 is going to be your best bet. Oh yeah, Grindle, no worries. I like how Grindle is literally a companion in the game and he tries to post a link in the chat to help everybody and Nightbot's like, get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, what a savage Nightbot. Don't you worry, Grindel. We will link everybody up. Thank you so much for helping us out. It's really appreciated. All right, so this giveaway, is this giveaway going? Is it going? I can't even tell. Let me, let me join the conversation over in Discord. Soon, says Shuzan, okay. Last giveaway is now live. And while that giveaway is, is active, of course, I wanna talk and show you one, one more thing uh, in the game. A nice little area, I think that you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's, it's pleasant. This is a mining station in, this, in the area of the, uh, the GMB territories. And it's, uh, it's got some good stuff. You can see we're still on that same mission to go to the Union Jump Bridge. But that is a, uh, what an asteroid. And this mining station, it's just, it's real chill, right? It's just hanging out. We have an outlaw scout here. And we have these GMB turrets that are defending the place. They're not attacking us whatsoever. They are defending, which is nice for a change to not have to attack a station when you approach it. It's just a really, it's a really casual location, it's somewhat close to a planet that we're going to be able to fly down to. There's a little bit of hint as to where this is at. And there's also, oh, what's this? There's also this cave structure on the asteroid. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So there's a lot of, a lot of secrets that could be found by navigating around these tunnels. Like this. Hmm. really enjoying how the spacing works 
and Everspace 2. And what I mean by that is just generally like the, the scope, right? Like we have this very elaborate tunnel here just for collecting a little bit of resources, but it feels freaking good, right? Just for flying into this massive asteroid and maybe there's more pockets that you will discover. Maybe those pockets will be found on planets themselves. That would be pretty amazing, frankly. And there's a lot more explosive asteroids and mini games galore that you'll discover. I know some of you are itching to try out some of the uh, the races that you can uncover, and those are actually in the alpha. So if you find them, do them. Let us know what your times are. Maybe we'll make a game out of it. I don't know. Maybe we'll have people post their times and challenge the developers, and we'll we'll give you something for it. We'll make it fun. It'll be a really good time. So that giveaway is still going. There's not much time left on it at all. So definitely get in on that. Um, let's see, can we do anything else with any of this? Not really. We don't really have the, the stuff to upgrade anything. But you can do these. These are all in range of you completing. It just takes a little bit of time. So I encourage you to push yourself to the limits We also have more upgrade tokens, too, so we can upgrade this to the max. We're going to upgrade the last one as well, because why not? So we can change this freely between all three of these different modes, which is great depending on what we need to utilize it for. So, for example, this hard reset reduces the cooldown by two seconds for every target killed during the effect. So you can essentially... If you kill them as many enemies as possible during this, you could have the EMP generator keep going off, keep going off. Shield Surge restores shields for yourself, as opposed to deals more damage to opponents. Whereas the first one is just straight up damage to your opponents. It's nice! Alright. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just excited right now. I just cannot wait for you guys to dive into this experience on Monday. It's gonna be so great start to start hearing what your guys' thoughts and opinions are of what we're developing. To really start showing the love through the community and building this game together with you guys. We've really appreciated the feedback that we got through the process of Everspace 1. And it transformed that experience in a good way, in a lot of different directions, which was nice. It was just solid to have. And we're very much looking forward to that in Everspace 2 as well. All right. So the last little bit of the stream, um, I want to talk about the update itself that we had over on the Kickstarter. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to do this without music. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to this waiting scene really quickly to talk a little bit about what's coming up because I don't want you to miss it, okay? I don't want you to miss it at all. It's going to be it's going to be nice. We do have a winner for the last giveaway. Congratulations to Cobalt for winning yourself an Alpha Key copy of Everspace yeah. 2. Yeah. Very nicely done, Sir Cobalt. Congratulations, that's all the keys that will be distributed today. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun stuff to do throughout future streams and a lot of stuff to talk about still. So. Don't you worry too much. We'll have those opportunities that populate. All right, so let's go over and talk about some other things. Soon. Soon. 
soon, all right? How soon, you might ask? Well, we're actually, um, we're like right around the corner. You actually see here, um, let's see, how do I do the thing? To, nope, that's not it. That's... <laughs> I forgot the button for full screen, okay? You can all make fun of me for that. I don't care. I just want this to look clean and professional. Dang it. Anyway, the point is, is that the, the stuff that's coming later, that teaser trailer, um, it's coming out shortly after this stream, okay? When I say shortly, I'm talking like two and a half hours, if that. I'm trying to find it. I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh. So excited. F11. Thank you. Look at you guys are rock stars. Thank you. Um, here it is. Here it is, right here. Later today, 11.30 p.m. CEST, or 5.30 p.m. EDT, or 2.30 p.m. PDT, we like to cover the world time zones, okay? I should have listed every single one, but for the sake of time, we will have a big an appearance on IGN dropping our first Alpha Gameplay trailer, okay? This is a huge thing. This is not just some sort of, like, a uh, little teaser. No, 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 this is the teaser that you just watched. You're going to see the real deal. And it's also going to be followed up with a 15-minute interview with my boss, cool man, Michael Shade. Okay? It's going to be legit. So definitely put that in your calendar. Again, this is later today. Make sure that you are there. It's going to be a really good time. All right. So, guys, I know that you're excited about the Alpha. I'm still super pumped. I'm glad that I was able to show you just a sliver of what it looks like when you first dive in. There are so many things that I have not shown you. And the loot systems, we're pretty happy with how things are kind of remotely balanced right now. I'm excited to see your own experience and with what you have to share from that. So remember, the Steam forms are going to be our big focal point for providing your feedback. Obviously, you can hit us up in the Discord. We love having conversations with you guys. It's always a pleasant experience. And uh, just to top things off, I want to answer a couple of your questions. I I know that I've been showing so much and you have a billion of them and we only have a couple of minutes left, but let's answer a couple of them just live on stream and uh, see where that goes because I like you guys. <laughs> what are my specs? Oh gosh. Um, my computer specs, um, actually, shoes on, could you let him know? <laughs> I should know my specs. Um, Shuzan actually helped me with my computer, and by helped, I mean he did everything. So, um, yeah, he would he would have the specs for you. I think it's a 2070 graphics card. Um, and from there, also SSD, you know, kind of that sort of standard. <laughs> I know, okay, just quit, quit, whatever. You're all making fun of me somehow. I don't like it. <laughs> Are there any plans for GeForce now? Um, I know that with the GeForce experience, like with Anzel, that's definitely supported. Um, is GeForce now in that same ballpark? Is that something else? Can you tell that I don't do the tech side of development? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to make sure your question gets answered though. Can you post a link in the uh, to the drop in the announcements channel. Yeah, you know what? I think I can do that, Excelsior. I think that would be a smart thing to do. So I'll hook you guys up. That'll be perfect. GeForce Now does work. I can confirm that. Thank you, uh, Casper, for dropping that information in. So yes, GeForce Now. Plans, yes. Very good. Throw more questions, quickly. Let's do this. Quick questions. Is it multiplayer? No. It is a single player experience with a focus entirely in a single player world for you to decide your actions, where you want to go, what you want to do. Obviously, the missions have been linearized, but from there, much like you saw, I can branch out and kind of fly wherever I want, provided I've unlocked those spaces accordingly. So that's great. Is there any modding capability planned? Yulavi, this is a fantastic question also. Welcome to the stream. Um, so modding is something that we have been discussing internally. It's not something that is set in stone. It's kind of one of those things that would be really freaking sick to have. And it would also be a tremendous amount of energy for us to pull off. So with a double-edged sword like that, we have to be really careful in the directions that we're taking through development in order to get you things like the alpha and a playable build with a lot of things to do. So 
there's no guarantee about mod support. Um, in fact, if I am being honest, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being absolutely and a 1 being no, it's more like a 2. Um, but please, don't don't think that is a terrible, sad thing. We know that you guys out there are really passionate about modding. We know that it could be really powerful for the game. It is still part of the discussion. So if we do have a lot of you out there screaming it at us, we're probably going to be a little bit annoyed by it. But we do get the picture, and we'll see what we can do. All right? So another really good question, how long does the alpha run? The alpha has about 10 hours of content for you, but you can obviously keep playing it to your heart's content. Let's keep going. Is there a level cap in the alpha? Yes, there. you get all the way up to level 10. That is the hard cap in the alpha itself. That's also designed around the CEDO system that you are experiencing. Obviously, you know there's more systems out there and more levels to be had as well. So no worries whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Um... Will there be a hardcore mode? I like that question. So the way that the game space is designed, because it's in an open world RPG, we don't really have a hardcore mode to play the game in. Um, we have had discussions about like a new game plus sort of situation. Maybe it would be equivalent to something like that, perhaps. But what we are intentionally designing are end game missions and goals to achieve after you've finished all of the, um, all of the designed linearized missions for the story. Um, to go out and do new runs to build yourself up, uh, in, including the collections that you've made through the course of the entire game. So there will be that in-game content to keep you coming back for sure. Next week, same time, same place? Yes, sir! Absolutely! Fantastic! I probably won't be wearing a suit, because this thing's way hotter than I thought it would be. But dang, I am so glad that I was able to look good for you guys. Ah! Mmm! So good. All right, so this is going to be the last question. T3Q asks, can inertia dampeners be turned off in the alpha? We do not have that implemented. It is not available yet. We know that a lot of you really want that element added to the game. Just note, it's not something that was like a make or break for us. We've been putting a lot more emphasis on the handcrafted environments, the ship skins. I didn't even talk about purchasing ships. Oh man, I hope that you guys find that spot in the game. There's going to be a lot of different new things for you to discover. Inertia dampened toggling just hasn't made it into the game yet don't worry it'll get there okay guys i am over the time for the stream you have been an absolute pleasure to hang out with you guys are the real champions here it has been incredible to be a part of this entire ride with you i'm looking forward to you guys getting the drop into the alpha itself next monday to hear what you have to say remember go to all these locations um, around here discord absolutely is the place to talk with us hang out with us share your memes your gallery maybe you'll get a highlight on a future stream we obviously have a youtube instagram mixer uh all that type of stuff uh, uh twitter i'm so excited right now it's kind of ridiculous but definitely go find the sights and sounds of everspace 2 get involved share us your thoughts it is so so freaking awesome Oh, I just love this. Oh. Okay, so IGN, that's going to be later. It's like two and a half hours. Goodness gravy, I'm so riled up. Oh, it's wonderful. So uh, last little bit of thing, I just have to pop back over. You know, do my normal routine. You guys have been awesome. Oh, that's a black screen. Hang on a second. Let's have something in the background. You guys have been awesome. I have been Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games. Don't stop being awesome. And we will, in fact, catch you in the next stream next week, same time and place. Otherwise, don't miss all the announcements this weekend. Toodles! Ooh, bonus time with Eric. Just letting you know, if you did ask a question and we didn't get to it live on stream, have no fear. Please make sure you dive into that Discord, follow us on Twitter, go to the Instagrams, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill and ask your questions there. We do have an AMA channel in the Discord specifically for answering those questions that were missed. We want to make sure we have as much transparency with you guys as possible. So don't hold back, find us again and don't stop being awesome. All right, now I'm seriously leaving. Toodles. <laughs>